Hello everyone and welcome to this Python of Automation Testing Series. This is our fifth tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the variable naming rules. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that what are the variables. Just to recall them, variables are used to store a data value. And when we are creating the variable, we give a name to that particular variable. Now there are some rules to give a name to the variable. So uh, let me create one new file here. And I'm naming it as variable naming rules. And the first uh, rule is basically the name of the variable should be descriptive and it should be meaningful. So name should be meaningful and descriptive. Now what this means basically. So in order to understand this thing, let me create one variable and so i have created one variable here now if you look at this particular variable tp equals 200 now if you start working on this one you will never understand what this variable is all about what this tp means here that's the problem so now if i change this to for example total price is equals to 100 now this is a meaningful and descriptive because uh, we will not be working as an individual contributor to the project we will, we will be working with our teammates so the code should be readable and to make it readable our variables name should be meaningful and descriptive just like this one now when we talk about the rules here so the rule is that your variable name must must start with a letter or the underscore so variable variable name must start with a letter or the underscore so this means that whenever you create a variable it should start with the letter so letter can be from a to z either it's a capital or small so let me give an example here x is equals to 5 okay or we can write underscore so this is a sign of underscore underscore x equals to 10. So you can either create the variable names with, with the letters or your variable name must start with the underscore. So this is a one rule. Now let's go to an other rule. The other rule is that your variable name should not start with numbers. The so number is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So if I say x and I say 1 equals to 5 you see that we are getting error here right even though I have given an end statement but still I am getting an error here there is a red line under this x so this means that this is not allowed so you cannot start a variable with a number okay so you cannot use this thing now let's talk about another rule here so when you're getting a variable name it should only contain alphanumeric characters and underscore so variable name should contain alphanumeric alphanumeric characters and underscores so this means that you can use from a to z then small a to z then 0 to 9 and finally underscore 
So these are allowed when you're creating the variable name. And Python is basically a case sensitive. So rule, another rule, Python, Python is case sensitive. So this means that, for example, if I create x equals to 5, and x equals to 5 or I can say x equals to 1. Now as Python is a case sensitive, Python will treat all these three as three different variables. These are not the same. These are three different variables holding three different values. Okay. Now um, we have a bit understanding of the rules here. So let's see what you can create. Okay, how you can create different variables here. Okay, so creating different variables which are allowed. Okay, so here what I'll do is that let me create a variable. So my training equals to Python. So this is allowed. You can create a variable this way. You can also create my underscore training is equals to Python. Then as we know that we can start with underscore. So my training equals to Python. Okay, then we can also create in this way my underscore training equals to Python. You can also you can do this in this way my with a small m and then capital tree training for the second word and you can create the variable in this way. You can also create with my training equals to Python. And what else you can do is that simply you can go with in this way as with my training to equals to Python. So there are different legal ways to create the variables. Now what is not allowed? So what what is not allowed as you already already know that we cannot start with the numeric value so if i write my training equals to python so now this is not allowed you see that this is highlighted as a error here okay so this is not this pattern is not allowed right and also if you start with number like eight my training equals to python again this is not allowed this is not allowed so these are not allowed so let me put a comment over here oops so maybe. now uh if you see that there are multiple different ways which are allowed and you can you know create the variables accordingly so there are particular cases which people usually follow when they are creating the variables what are these cases basically let me talk about the cases now so uh the cases the first case you might have heard about is a pascal case so what pascal case is basically so each word so if there's a multiple words involved in your variable each word starts with a capital letter so each word it starts with a capital letter Okay, so this means that, for example, if I need to get a variable, my 
enrolled training is equals to Python. So here there are three words and each word starts with the capital letter here. So this is known as a Pascal case. So you can use Pascal case. Then there is a, a camel case. There is a snake case. We will discuss both of these and you can choose any of those. And if you're already working on, on a project where you have just joined, just ask your team lead or manager what case they are using. You can follow that particular case here. So uh, the second case we'll talk about a snake case. So snake case is basically each word is separated by an underscore. Each case is each or oh sorry each word is basically each word is separated by underscore. So in the above scenario, I will say my underscore enroll underscore training is equals to Python. So this is basically a snake case. And then the third and the final one is a camel case here. So what camel case says here basically each word each word except the first one starts with a capital letter. So this means that if I'm creating a camel case here, so I will say my enrolled print is equals to python so in camel case the first word start with small and rest all of the words start with a capital letter in snake case every word is separated by an underscore and in pascal case every word start with a capital letter okay so that's all about the naming rules for the variables and in our upcoming sessions we will look into different type of variables available and we'll see different type of data so we'll start building up step by step in this particular series thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial